Good morning to you. Some city council members want a citywide plan in place before they say they could vote for the $51 million proposal that would go to help take care of migrants. Where the money has been spent, where it's going to be spent, and what we're going to do moving forward in a citywide fashion. Mayor Brandon Johnson is hoping the measure passes the council today. More than 8,000 migrants have been bused to Chicago from Texas since August. Around 800 are sleeping in police stations across the city. The $51 million up for debate again today is money the city got from opioid and vapor court settlements. One alderman said it would only last about two months. Last week, protesters packed the hallways outside the council chamber and their chants could be heard inside. Many demonstrating say the city shouldn't be prioritizing migrants when so many Chicago communities have dealt with decades of disinvestment and lack of affordable housing. Mayor Johnson addressed those concerns after last week's meeting. We have to do right and support the families and the residents who have suffered um, in the city of Chicago for, for, for decades now. Now, before today's city council meeting, Chicago GOP leaders, as well as some community leaders from the south side, will hold a press conference. They are going to urge city council members to vote no on this proposal. We are live at City Hall. I'm Eric Rung, WGN News.